In this video, you're going to learn how to download, install, and launch AccessMod. I'm here on the accessmod.org website, in which you can go in the download section and find several links uh, uh, from which you can download the necessary files. On the lower right corner, you see this download virtual box, uh, which is the, the prerequisite uh, software to install in order to install AccessMod. If I click on it, it goes to the virtualbox.org website from which you can download the free VirtualBox software, which is the uh, virtual machine manager uh, with which you're going to use AccessMod. So I'll let you download this depending on uh, your machine, either you're on the Windows or Mac, take the latest version and first install that software. I'm going back to the AccessMob website. On the upper right, I have the Download Access Mod button. If you click on it, you will download a one gigabyte file, which is Access Mod Virtual Machine. And on the left side, there is another download here that you can get either in English or French, which is composed of the uh, tutorial and the user manual and of a set of data that is being used in the tutorial when you're going to learn how to use the different analysis in access mode. So you can download these two files and in the lower left corner, just to show you that we also have the uh, user manual and tutorial online, if I click on it, uh, it opens um, now these uh, sites where the full tutorial now is online. You can browse access to it and search by keywords also within these tutorials. So I'm going back on that side. I'll let you download these two files here, which I've already done. I already did that. This is the two zip file that I've downloaded. And I'm just going to unzip this file just by double clicking on them on my computer it unzipped those files and what I get now is uh, a folder here with this very large file of one gigabyte uh, of format OVA which is my virtual machine that we're going to install and in from the other zip file I've got tutorial here in English and a folder with uh, a number of data sets that are uh, going to be used uh, for learning how to use access mod. So now I can go to VirtualBox that has been installed. On my computer, you see there are already virtual machines installed, but if it's the first time you're using VirtualBox, this part of the screen should be empty here. So the first thing that we want to do is to import the OVA file into VirtualBox so that we can launch it and therefore launch access mod. To do that, I'm going to the file, VirtualBox file, import appliance. I got this windows from which I can then get this OVA file from my disk, uh, which in my case is in that folder. So I'm going into this folder that I just downloaded. I select this OVA file and I press open and then continue. And then I have some information here that tells me that by default, this virtual machine will be allocated two gigabytes of, of RAM of memory on my machine, plus other settings. I click on import, and then it will just need a, you know, a few seconds or, or more, depending on your computer, to import this uh, virtual machine. It's quite fast. Now it's done, and you can see here that I have Access mod server 5.6.0 imported ready to be launched to be started. So to start using Access mod, you need to have this virtual machine running. So you either double click on it or you press the start button up here, which uh, is the same. So I click on start. And then my virtual machine is now starting. It's actually Linux uh, plus many, many libraries. Uh, that are starting on my machine. You see all these lines here. And then you will arrive at this stage here when you have access mod and then access mod login 
uh, blinking, and it means that access mode has now started, is ready to use. But you should not do anything with this black window. You should not type anything in it. You should just, just leave it running in the background. And we are going to use the browser now to uh, access the user interface of access mode. So I just leave that window and I go back to my browser. I can open a new tab here. And in the URL area, I'm just typing localhost column 8080. And this tells my brother to connect to the virtual machines that is running on my machines, and then access access mod uh, graphical user interface that you see here now on screen. So if you get to that stage, that means access mod is running correctly on your machine, you're ready to use it. And uh, I'm just showing you here, by default, the user interface is in English. We have also um, this user interface in French. If you want, you can change it in French. It changes automatically. I'm going now back into English. And you are now ready to use AccessMod and to learn the functionality in the other video.